your parents. You see, that is just as what's wrong with the colored woman in this world. Don't understand nothing about building a man up, making them feel like they're something like they can do something. There are colored men to the end. You know it. And there ain't gonna be no invested in no liquor store. Mama, you ain't even looking at it yet. I don't even speak on it anymore. You ain't even looked at it. You don't even have to speak on it anymore. You ain't looked at it and you decide. You tell that to my boy tonight, Mama. When you put him to sleep on the living room couch. And you tell that to my wife, Mama. The next time she has to go out of here and take care of somebody else's kids. Yeah, you tell me too. The next time we need a new pair of curtains, I have to watch you go out here and, and work in somebody else's kitchen. Yeah, you tell me then. Where are you going? I'm going out. Where? Just out of this house. Well, I come to walk. I don't want you to come. I got something to talk to you about. That's too bad. Walter Lee, sit down. Grown man, mama. Nobody said you wasn't grown. But you still in my house and you in my presence. And as long as you are, you will talk to your wife civil. Now you sit down. Oh, let him go out and drink and set to death. He makes me sick to my stomach. And you turn my stupid. That was my biggest mistake. Walter, what's the matter with you? The matter with me? Ain't nothing the matter with me. Oh, yes, it is. Some people, you up like crazy, man. I've been watching it happen to you for years. You get all nervous acting, crazy, and you get out and sit down, because I'm still talking to you. Mm -hmm. I don't need no nagging to me today. It looks like every time I turn around, you're always tied up in some kind of knot or something. And then when somebody asks you what's the matter, <clears throat> you just yell at them, bust out the house and go somewhere off and drink. Now, people can't live like that walking. Now, Ruth is a good, patient girl in her way. And you're getting to be something else, boy. You gonna mess around and run that girl off. So what? What's she do for me? She loves you. No, I just, I just need to get out of this house. And I just need to be by myself for a little while. Son, it's dangerous. What's dangerous, Mom? When a man have to leave outside his own house to find peace somewhere else. Then why can't there ever be no peace in this house then? You done found some in some other house? No. There ain't no other woman. Why do women always think there's another woman every time a man gets restless? Mama. Do you know what this money means? Do you know what this shit can do for us? Mama, I want so many things. So many things. They kind of drive me crazy. Look at me. I'm looking at you. And you is a good looking boy. You got a nice wife, fine boy, and a job. A job. Mom, a job. I open and close doors all day long. I drop a man around in his limousine. And I say, Yes, sir. No, sir. Very good, sir. Shall I make the drive, sir? Mama, that ain't no job. That ain't nothing at all. I don't know if I can make you understand. <coughs> Sometimes it's, it's like I can see the future. The future, Mama. It's stretched out. Right in front of me. Hanging over there. Sometimes when I'm downtown, I, I pass some of them cool, quiet looking restaurants where them white boys are sitting back talking about things. Sitting there turning deals worth millions of dollars. Mama, sometimes I don't even see guys that, that look much older than me. Why do you talk so much about him, my son? Because of this life, Mama. Oh! It's life? Yes. Money is life. Once upon a time, freedom was life. Nice nah, money. <laughs> I guess the world do change. No. It was always money. 
we just ain't nobody. No, something has changed. There's something new going. In my day, we was worried about not getting lynched or getting to the north if we could and how to stay alive and still have a pinch of dignity. Now here you come, you and Benita, talking about things that we ain't never even thought about me and your dad. You ain't satisfied or proud or nothing we done for you. I mean that you had a home. That we kept you out of trouble till you was grown. That you ain't never had to ride to work on the back of nobody's street car. Yeah, you're my children. Oh, but how different we don't because of just don't understand. You just don't understand. Walter, do you know your wife is expecting another baby? That's what she was trying to tell you. Now, it ain't for me to be telling you, but I think your wife thinks about destroying that child. What's going to do that, Mama? Oh, baby, when the world get up there now, a woman will do anything for her family. Them pockets are already in. Mama, you don't know Ruth if you think she'd do something like this. I would, Walter. <clears throat> I gave her a $5 down payment. Russell, I'm waiting on you to say something. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting on you to talk like your father. Be the man he was. I'm waiting on you to tell her that we are family that give life to children, not take it away. I'm waiting. I'm waiting to see you stand up and talk like him and be like him. Tell him that we done lost one child of poverty and we're not going to lose nary another one. I'm waiting. If you be your father's son, you will tell him. Walter, I'm waiting. <clears throat>
me, me and you, man, we, we ought to get together sometime. Look, man, I, I, I got some ideas that can really just... Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll have to do that sometime, Walter. <laughs> yeah. Well, you let me know. I know you were, you were busy, little boy. I mean, I know it ain't, ain't nothing as busy as you, as you college boys with your fraternity pins and your white shoes. Walter, please. I, I, I see you all on the time with your, with your books stuck on your arms, heading to your classes. And for what? What they teach you up there, huh? Uh, filling up your head with all that, that sociology and that psychology. <laughs> but, but they teach you how to be a man, huh? They teach you how to, how to run and take over the world. They teach you how to run a rubber plantation or, or a steel mill. No. Just to talk proper, read books, and wear them faggoty looking white shoes. You're all whacked up with bitterness, man. And you? Ain't you bitter, man? Ain't you just about that? Don't you see those stars gleaming that you can't reach out and grab? You happy? You contented son of a bitch, you happy? Bitter. Man, I'm a volcano of bitter. Here I am, a giant, surrounded by ants. Ants you can't even understand what the giant's talking about. Oh, Walter, ain't you with nobody? No, because ain't nobody with me, not even my own mother. Walter, that's a terrible thing to say. Well, what's the matter with your head?